April 27th, I was actually at home uh, looking at the storm go through on TV, and all of a sudden I realized it was on Hargrove Road. I'm like, oh Lord, the church is there. When I came here, it was basically, instead of being a church without walls, it was a building without walls. Everything was just totally torn up. The windows was all blown out, and the piano was tipped over. The drum sets was gone, and it was just utter devastation, almost like a bum had dropped off in this town. Shortly after, maybe Monday or Tuesday, I actually had a call from travelers. Um, a person wanted to gather more information and find out exactly where we're located. Uh, the next day, I think I had a call from Ray, and uh, he was telling me he was actually flying into Alabama to meet with us. Uh, I would say within 48 hours, um, Ray was actually in Tuscaloosa calling me for directions. I couldn't get here, so I, we had to park down the road, and the uh, church itself was actually gone. This particular building must have gotten sucked out of here. I kind of had the feeling it was going to be a little rough having to fight with him to, to, to make sure that he treats us right, but it wasn't. It was just really coming, and at that point, the claim was handled really, really fast. We sat on the back of the truck, and I wrote a check out to him, and we talked, uh, you know, about the claim and um, gave him some ideas about how to go about getting another location. As the pastor of the church and founder of the church, my responsibility is to take care of the needs of the church. And to my surprise, I really didn't have to do anything other than just let it take its course. You talked to the um, building department? I have. The church is covered with a master pack policy. In the master pack, is, there's some language that provides some additional coverages. Once that starts, we can actually start uh, really removing a lot of debris. On Tuesday, I called and told them what the policy was going to pay out, which was the policy limits, and um, the additional coverages for the debris removal. And uh, actually, I had the claim settled Tuesday afternoon. Ray was exceptional. I mean, he really just looked over everything. He took care of our needs, and right on the spot, he gave us money to kind of help us relocate and take care of some essentials right then, and it was just really pleasant for us. What I really do is try to help people in their time of need. You kind of know some avenues that may help. It's telling him the options that he had about removing the debris and replacing the building or relocating, and started giving him some avenues to think about. Thank you, I appreciate everything. Thank you. My immediate plans, hopefully, is to rebuild the church. I would like to rebuild it right here at this structure. I would like to keep it a community church and just continue on from here. I think as a whole, um, this particular incident has actually brought the community together. People can come together in a disaster situation and pitch in and, and we become like a real family.